There we go. Hey guys, welcome to Waste Not Wednesday. We go live every Wednesday at 10 a.m. and we take things that we got for free or darn near close to it and we turn <laughs> it into things that we sell or that we're going to keep. Today we're actually doing some pots um, for the shop, for the new shop that's going to be at the church. I picked this one up for 75 cents at a yard sale. I thought about shipping it and then I picked it up. It's thick. It's probably it's, like an inch and a half on the wall of this because they put all this fun detail in there. It's a thick lady. And then it's got this cone in the middle, so I guess you don't have to waste too much dirt and it diverts uh, water out. But either way, it's, it's a beast. It's so probably like 35, 40 it. pounds. Um, and this was free. It was at the church when we bought it and they got left there. So I thought it'd be the perfect opportunity to make it over into something cute and we don't have a ton of money to spend on landscaping and pots so we're getting real creative this one still has it's been planted in but it still has its tag on it back here <laughs> that's always good it's, it's right back here i'm gonna pull up uh comments loving here. the shapes on this these this one has i think yeah this one's been outside a long time it's got dirt in the bottom this one's brand new but has leaves in the bottom and like they meant to do something with it but they didn't it even comes with a plug in the bottom and we have this that I'm going to try to mold. This was sent to us and we lost the card. So if it was you that sent it, we appreciate it and thank you very much. Yeah, we're gonna make a mold out of this. We actually plan on selling these once we get it dialed in with the mold, um, but not yet. I just thought that'd be super cute on that pot. Um, I'm actually gonna trade you. I want to do want this to do pot, pot and I want you to do the boho pot. Do you but want me you to base to, coat this for you yeah, while you, you do that? Yeah, you need to wait for a minute to okay. start on that one so that I can get this molded up. What would you like me to base coat this with? What about Bohemian Blue? You do what you want. I can run with anything. Okay. I'm going to base coat this with Bohemian Blue. It's DIY paint. Um, and Zeb is going to show you guys how to make your own molds. We've been doing this a lot lately. We just want you guys to really know how. <laughs> well, we just had a lot to do Let me it show with, you this so. up close. It's, it's really awesome. Oh, and a Cody hair. He doesn't Everything. lose many, but he does occasionally have one go. Today, it's drizzly. And they it's were outside, wet. and they came in, they're all muddy, and now they're over there napping. It's 10 in the morning, they're having a nap. I'm hoping that if I paint these pots, it will entice actual warmer, more spring. Although this is spring for Utah. Like, yeah. you know, people are like, oh, it's not spring. I'm like, oh, it is. This is Utah spring. It's... It was like 75 a couple days ago. It's 41 this morning and possible snow next week after Mother's Day. I actually paid a dollar for this pot. It was only 75 cents, but the guy didn't have change and I felt like a dollar was okay. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. Let me go inside the house. I'm like, it's cool. If I wait for you to go inside the house, I'm not going to be able to get to these 10 other yard sales and that's going to cost me more money. So just keep your quarter. All right, so this is the uh, amazing well, mold honey. We <laughs> sell it at jamierayvintage.com. And I'm just doing two equal parts. I need a little more yellow. Yeah, give me just a sec. I'll flip that for you. If you guys want to create your own projects, if you've got thrift flips or Waste Not Wednesday ideas, um, visit jamierayvintage.com. All the paint and products you see us use, you can purchase there. I'm using the F30 Klingon brush. Um, the Klingons are definitely an investment. They do last a really long time and the paint washes out of them easy. You could also easily use a zipper brush. They are a good, moderately priced brush. And um, I'm using Bohemian Blue. All right. We call it Boho Blue around here. So just like last week, mix together till your white and your yellow sides, your side A and your side B are all yellow. No, you don't want any white streaks in there. It's kind of neat it. And I'm going to place it flat right on this little sh sheep plaque. And we're going to put it on that pot, hopefully before the video is over. So if you're noticing, we're both wearing matching shirts. Oh, yeah, um, may the fourth be with you. It's uh, We're big Star Wars fans over here. Everybody but my daughter, Eliza, and my mom. She but. likes Star Wars. She, she really got into The Mandalorian. She did not want to wear her Star Wars shirt to school today, though. Everybody else did. If you if you follow along, I, I put it in stories. I'll have to put it on YouTube stories. We uh, all got matching Star Wars oh, shirts. This plaque is bigger than I thought. I might not have made enough. Might have to mix up some more. What is the product called again that you're using? Amazing Mold Putty. 
it's it's I think it's like 20 bucks for for this kit and you can do quite a few molds or you can do a couple bigger ones um <laughs> Rob Gloria says show us the way <laughs> this is the way. This is the way you paint your junk. If you don't watch Star Wars or The Mandalorian, then you have no idea what we're talking about. All right, I gotta hurry though right now because this is I didn't I didn't mix up enough. This oh, is shoot. much bigger than I thought. So shoot. now I gotta try to combine these two. It'll be all right. I like this putty because some you have to put it like in a container and then form around it. But this putty you can actually use on a vertical surface. So, sorry, I'm just painting like this because it's too heavy to move this stupid thing. <laughs> um, so if you have like a dresser or something or a piece of furniture, maybe that belongs to somebody else and you want to mold it, you could just do it right vertically. You're going to have to try to get that paint down around the bottom. That's all right. It doesn't really matter because it's going to be sitting in dirt or something. Maybe on a porch. Well, it's going to go at the shop. Oh, you're putting it at the shop? It's going to the church. All right. It might go in the garden. I don't know. Actually, I'm going to pull this off and mix it all together. We need about 500 pots. The problem is that yard at the church is huge. So big. And we just <laughs> cut back trees and cut down trees. And I'm like, what am I going to do that's going to make this look awesome? Caitlin just dropped the link to the mold putty. Off topic, but how is the claw tub doing after you guys coated it? Um, it's fine. It's doing, it, it's it doing good. It does stain easy if you use uh, colored bath bombs, so don't do that. I mean, I don't really care because it's for my kids, so if it's stained inside from a bath bomb, at least they had fun Oh, is that why bath. it's red in the bottom? Uh-huh. I was like, <laughs> what is this red stuff in the bottom? Um, but my, my kids use it and it's held up fine. We may be pulling it out um, and putting in a shower, not because there's anything wrong with the claw foot tub, but because we have certain daughters that don't like to shower in there because when you close the curtain, it's claustrophobic. So in order to get them out of our shower and my parents shower, because we, if you don't know, there's eight of us here, including my parents, we're going to do like a walk-in shower, maybe next fall if we can afford it um, and use that tub somewhere else. All right, I'm gonna have to do this. This is Corey getting says, messy. Corey says she's excited for the church. She wants to fast forward. We want to fast forward too because right now it's not a lot of fun stuff. It'll be fun once we start filling it, but until then, it's a lot of work. I'm probably gonna rebuild the stairs back up today, um, this afternoon, so that I can get the plaster out of upstairs out. <laughs> And then I've got to rebuild some stairs up to the stage, rebuild that front wall, rip some carpet out up above. Repair termite damage. Sorry, you guys can't even see what I'm doing. I got to cut out where's some, the, where's some the drywall that got some termites in it. So I just moved this over to a hard surface. It was sticking to the drop cloth. And then when that dries and cures, it'll pull right off of this countertop. They, no they didn't take this off, but it must have been a while ago because this pot was only ten ninety seven. I feel like with current pricing, it'd be like 20 bucks now. For yeah, a terracotta maybe. pot this big. I can't get it off. I'll help you. Okay. Sheep mold. We're going to leave it like that. Sorry, we should have been more prepared, but we didn't know what we were doing until right before the live. Well, we had we had a little desk that we also found over there um, that they left. And we were going to do something with that. And we're like, eh. We need to do more sanding and do a bunch of stuff to this, so we're not going to. The dust needed more work than I was willing to put forth. We love your lives from the home; it's just comfy. Well, we're going to start doing lives um, from the church once we get that set up. But I'm hoping to create a backdrop that makes it feel homey. Complete with um, dirt. <laughs> complete with dirt. Not that we don't love doing lives here, but it is complicated when we're doing big projects and my floor is often covered in paint that I have to scrub off. Pass me the boho blue. So it's not always super convenient. Now you're just, what are you doing? I'm just getting a little coverage oh, down Oh, well that's setting bottom. up. Okay, so he's going to let that mold set up. How long does that take? Um, you got about a solid 10, 15 minutes. So, you know, leave a little spot on there that you don't base coat. All right, so I'm, well, I could... Do we have to have it not painted to put it on? It's best if it adheres right to the terracotta. Oh, okay. That's fine. Well, will you seal the large pot? We've just been using Big Top and Sweet Pickens Top Coat, and it's been fine. Like, it's been the rainiest it's been the entire year this last week. 
And I am proud to say that my big top coated pots that are outside in the front yard are just as pretty as when we did them last week. So they've held up really well to the rain. Um, you can use Kills Clear or Outdoor Sealer. Um, I was actually thinking about painting this with the new JRB paints. If you guys didn't know, DIY Paint that we're using over here has created a line for us um, called Cottage Color, and it's by Jamie Ray Vintage. It's got our logo on the can and everything, and it's supposed to be rated for outside. We're not claiming that it's rated for outside because we haven't tested it, so I want to paint it. I don't um, have any, I don't have enough sample to, uh, <laughs> but the manufacturer's like, yeah, you can use this outside all you want. It has a built-in sealer on it. So we're going to, I'm going to try. But I'm not making any promises this. until I've used it on something outside and it sat out there for a year. Yep. Um, and we did restock. We were sold out, but we've restocked all of the cottage color. Caitlin, can you drop the link to that? It oh, is thanks. still on pre-order. Official release should be... Next week, maybe? Yeah. Um, and then if you order now, just know that this is the second wave of paint. So it'll take two to three weeks before that gets to you. Um, no guarantees. Oh, you we got to wait till they ship it to us. You but trade me and I'll... Yeah, I'm struggling here. That's like a cheese a, knife. A cheese knife. Well, on? I don't know what... How, I had a scraper. Here, just trade me seats. You're going to let me sit over here? Yeah, you can sit there. All right. I'll allow it. All right. What kind of finish do we want to go with this? Do we want to add some salt wash to it next? This is my insulation knife. To add texture? Um, what, yeah, go I was going to do some salt wash. And then some um, drips? Probably in a lighter color, maybe even like a yellow. Okay. Because I put some yellow in that piece. If you haven't watched yesterday's video, did a lot of experimenting with really old world book, and I love the results on it. All right, so I'll dry this and I'll do Queen D. Yeah, that would be good. Do we have it out right there? Yeah, I grabbed a ton of different paints. Boy, this is like part of the pot now. It is It is one with the pot. It's because they didn't take it off and left it outside and the sun baked it on. I might just go try to get a piece of sandpaper. Well, what if you use like soap and let it soak for a minute? I don't, I don't know. know. It's plastic. It's like a plastic sticker. So it's not Stickers gonna, are the name of our existence. It's not going to soak off. We do not sell these t-shirts. I actually went somewhere that I hardly like three times a year. I might go there. I went to the Walmart because I woke up at six 30 this morning and it was the only store open. I realized it was May 4th and we had no shirts. <laughs> so I went rushed over there before my daughter went off to school and got us matching shirts. I also had to pick up tomatoes because even more important than May the 4th is Cinco de Mayo. Um, that's tomorrow. And that's tomorrow. I bought the sangria soda, not alcoholic. And my kids are like, what is this? I'm like, how do you not know what this is? So we're going to have that and tacos tomorrow for Cinco de Mayo. Was it last year or the year before we did those pots for Cinco de Mayo? Jana saw the urn. She's like, that urn, wow. Well, thank you, Jana. Yeah, the urn is actually uh, just right over there. I got to drop it off at the shop oh, I today. could probably show you in a little bit. We've been doing lots of urns, outside stuff, outside videos. It happens every spring because you know what? Your yard needs some decor too. Decorize your yard. Decorize your yard. <laughs> uh, oh, reduce, reuse, and craft cycle says use the heat gun on that sticker. I got it off, but that's a good idea. I that would have been space smart. That. All right, you keep heat gun. Or goo gun. I'm going to make some salt wash, okay? I've got a used cup. Oops. It's a mess. I'm going to. I was going to take these out, but they're like really wet. Okay. All right. I'm going to swap Looking to spots. see any comments. Hit the like button, Kathleen says. All right. All right. That's so mostly dry. -ish. That's just going to go more like, oh. I don't know what the heck you mixed. It's thick, and I use I had some boho blue on my brush yesterday, because <laughs> that's the bottom, and the lid hasn't been going. Give me on the there. cake batter. Cake batter it up. It's like gelatinous. Oh, this is why our paints always dry out, guys. Don't do what we do. Clean your lids so you can put them down flush. Okay, cake batter is going on here. Um, I need the salt wash. I'm oh. mixing it up for you. It's really nice after it's dried, um, but it will get dark again when we seal it. It's a really good navy, actually. I always think of it more like teal, but it's, it's like a. It almost has like a greenish 
um, tone to it on the navy, but it's hard. It's hard to describe. It's just a really good color with a lot of depth. All right, I'm gonna make salt wash it with my cake batter here. So right, what other texture. options do we have color wise? Because I'm gonna need to get some layers going. Yeah, I'm making you salt wash right now. I didn't even use salt wash yesterday. I know. Here, I'll show you what we're All talking right. about. Do you want to see what we did yesterday? Go watch the video, but I'll show you. This is already sold. It's already got to go. We got to get it over to the shop so it can get shipped out. Marty bought it. It's going to have to, we're going to flip the lid inside and use two giant boxes. It's, it's too big to show all at once. Let me bring it close. I guess I'll bring it close. <laughs> so you guys can see the detail. Getting a little paint blending here because I didn't dry this all the way. I did the bottom more green because, you know, all the mossy and, and uh, copper stuff gets greener on the bottom too. A little red in there, all kinds of fun stuff. I can't even show you the top of the lid. Well, you'll have to imagine it or go watch the video for the close-ups. <laughs> yeah. You want to see what it really looks like. You're going to have to watch the video. This little tease there. Okay. If you're new here and this looks like it has the mange, you're right. Um, but it will get better. All right. You want to start drying that? Yeah. I'm probably going to knock that down a little too. Yeah, that's fine. It's a little, it's a little thick. So this is salt wash. You can add it to any paint. I love to use it with DIY because it just really mixes well and adds texture. It dries rock solid. We like it. We like it the salt wash around here. So if you're just joining, I don't know if you can see it right here. I've got a little mold of a uh, plaque with a lamb and a little girl on it that we're going to put on this one in a minute. I'm going to paint this um, with the new paint, and I don't think it'll matter if the if it's underneath with it. With the cottage colors? Mm -hmm. I'm going to use mint. All right. Do you have enough? We've well, only had these little out. samples that we've been working with and changing colors and things, and our, our main delivery did not come its traditional route because we ordered so much of it, and so we're like the last to get our, our paint. Yeah, it, hopefully... It's supposed to be in Salt Lake tomorrow, so we can make a video with it. So this is the mint. If you haven't ordered the cottage, cottage colors, be sure to get your pre-orders in, so that way you don't miss out. Because it's going to be, it's going to be a minute before they get caught the up. The warehouse is making as much as they can for us right now, and so oh, far yeah. it's been selling out as soon as they say, yeah, "Hey, is, they have more." Oh, this is not even going to use a third of this. That's going to cover really well. Yeah. So you're only going to need one coat. Yep. Because this terracotta isn't shiny at all, I'm not getting any streaks. I'm having a hard time getting in those little... There's little grooves on that pot. Well, no, the little handles. I'll use a little brush to get them oh. in. So if you want to order these, you can. That paint is covering good. And it has a built-in sealer. So that's nice, especially for outdoor stuff. We'll do a ton of videos on it and all kinds of finishes and show you guys how to various ways to use it because it doesn't we've done a lot a lot of work with like the milk paint and the diy paint and both of those are water soluble this is not you gotta either blend it while it's still wet or you're done yeah it takes a little bit of different technique but i feel like it'll be great especially for people who want things that don't have variation in tone the biggest complaint we get about diy is it's different in tone. Well, that's also the glorious thing about DIY. You get some highs and lows. And they also, some people don't love that they have to put a sealer on it. So this is just nice. It has that. This will get layered. The thing I love about it, and I don't know that we've really talked about it because I haven't had a chance to show you. The first thing I did was paint something really shiny that had a gloss finish on it and then let it dry. And then I did, I took my fingernail and I scratched it probably 20 times as hard as I could just to see if it would pull the paint up off that shiny surface. I didn't sand it or prep it or anything. And it stuck super hard. And that was like, it was only like an hour of dry time. It was pretty fresh paint still considering most paints take up to 30 days to cure. Um, and it didn't come off. So my brush pretty, was, pretty happy with that. My brush was a little bit damp, so it probably would have covered even better if the brush wasn't damp, but I'm pretty happy with that. It's a good base coat. If you do use a heat gun on this, because it has a built-in sealer, you got to keep your heat gun moving just like you do on patina or big top because uh, you don't want to get bubbles. 
Or maybe you do want bubbles. I don't I'm, know. I'm thinking okay. probably the perfect application for it is uh, uh, cupboards, cabinets. Oh, yeah. Things we, like that. We can repaint our cabinets and let you know. We'll be the guinea pigs. Jamie is vying for a whole new kitchen since we... Uh, we so all this this whole kitchen back here that you see, I put Jamie just put trim on these, and then these are our own pools that we did. But these are like builder grade unfinished cabinets that we got from the Home Depot. Uh, I think we maybe spent five hundred dollars on the whole thing, including the countertops. So she's like, I think I need some new new kitchen cupboards. Yeah, <laughs> sure. they're they're holding up okay, but after a year, some of the like the pools and things are starting. The like the slides are yeah, the, they're not the high quality fine, slides. But the cabinets were cheap. They were like I think we spent maybe. Fourteen hundred dollars on all to of the cabinets, the pantry, which is a lot of cabinetry, and, and this, and yeah. the countertops. Um, they would cost way more now because the countertops have gone up because the price of wood's gone up. I really want like a. I love this stove. It's such a nice stove, but I we cook for too many people <laughs> for like eight plus people. And if I have a lot of things going on, especially if I'm cooking from scratch, I don't have enough room for all my pots. So my plan is to maybe. Yeah, a slightly larger stove and then even if i don't get new cabinets i would um, like to do marble countertops we just couldn't afford it when we bought the house and if we do that we will take probably all still the have to do remnants yeah although it's not a very big counter we could probably find a remnant piece that fits that no problem for sure well and if we do that then we'll take the butcher block counters and repurpose those into something else but that's the long-term plan Maybe 2029. I did message a company yesterday that I really love their ovens. And I was like, hey, you want to do a brand deal? I don't think they're going to give me an oven. But you never know till you ask. We've got lots of half-off deals doing that, though. Um, if the It's water-based paint. So just don't let it dry on your brushes. Like, I just put my brushes in water. Just clean them with soap and water. Do not let it dry on there. But you don't have to use anything special to clean this paint off your brushes. Um all right oh that's for a hose they said what's maybe. for a hose you could put a hose oh, in there, put a hose in there? that'd be a really small hose <sighs> um yeah i see that how it comes out it also has a drain hole over here for like planting in so we're gonna that's cool though that it's for a hose that makes I sense i think this is still pretty wet over there it is i'm yeah. gonna start i'm just gonna take my hand it's still got some highs oh, and, and lows pull it off. and i'm just pulling off the the peaks that aren't quite dry because they're thicker which, All right, I'm going to heat gun this real that's quick. That's okay. I want it to be smoothed out. I don't want it to look like it was just, oh, this is really wet over here. <laughs> I told you it was Your wet. hands are your best tools. <laughs> Take care of them, folks. Somebody's like, I would have to use a glove. And I was like, I never wear gloves. I should with milk paint because it sticks so good on your hands. But Can you hit this spot right here for me? And then I'm ready yeah. to do another coat. Can you put it closer? That's all the more it's going to stretch actually here let's see put that up um what was i gonna say i got distracted talking about your hands and oh i was paint. gonna say the, the other thing about this paint is it does have a little bit of a sheen to it but the duller your finish underneath the duller your finish of your paint like this has very low sheen now because the pot was very matte but when we painted it on something shiny the sheen was shinier yeah. sheen shine. that's a lot to say sheen shine but just give you an idea with this new paint the hole is where the hose comes through. You yeah, like so you put the silent. hose through, and then that goes to the spigot, and then it wraps up in here, and then you oh. can pull it out and use it, which actually I probably like that system better than, than a... The problem uh, is our hoses are all like 100 foot. Yeah, our hoses, a big yard. Our hoses wouldn't fit in that. So I'm using the new um, Vintage Mint Cottage Colors, the new Jamie Ray Vintage Colors by DIY. And this, if you're just tuning in, is Bohemian Blue and cake batter with salt wash. Somebody asked if we prefer salt wash over paint frosting. We don't. Um, we just haven't used the paint frosting enough to be, like, to make a video on it. But we definitely will come up with some good videos soon. All right. Got that knocked down. Now for... It's definitely different. Like, this is textured, well, whereas paint frosting makes your paint thick and not necessarily textured. So I guess it depends on the look you're going for. All right, sea glass. Because I've been using it in everything. Don't forget your reds, carnival red here. 
Yes, Pam, you can order the cottage color through us. Caitlin dropped the link. I'm sure she'll drop it again, or you could just head over to Jamie Ray Vintage. It's on pre-order right now, um, but we'll be shipping here in a few weeks once we get our release date. So we're pre-ordering it for people so you, you guys can get it as soon as the release happens. Okay, this is... Um, this is from a yard sale. Kiss. Sorry, you, I had a question. Jennifer, it is from yard, yard sale. sale. A dollar. It was yeah. 75 cents, but Jamie overpaid by 25 because they didn't have change. She didn't want to wait for change. Okay, and then mint chip. I've already got yellow on there in the salt wash, so I'm not going to put it on here with that uh, the cake batter. It's a great light yellow. So Robert had a question about the new paint. Um, I would say that the cottage color thickness wise lies between uh, the clay base paint and Bohemian Brights. Bohemian Brights is definitely thinner than the cottage color. Um, so this is like a medium thickness, if that makes sense. So if you're familiar with DIY paint and Bohemian Brights, this is in the middle thickness wise. And it does self level and lays down flat. So you don't get the brush strokes that you get in the DIY. Think of it like, um, have you ever used liquid patina? It's pretty close to liquid patina. The other thing, because it has a built-in sealer, you're going to want to mix it before you use it. Um, you can distress the new paint. You either have to wipe it back when it's still wet, which we're going to practice with and give you guys some techniques. This, I didn't do that because I want this to be a base coat and I want um, the sealer to be intact so that way it doesn't distress past it but um you can do that or you can just use sandpaper like a 220 sandpaper and it'll distress just fine it's not so shiny that you can't distress it like it's not going to get gummy on you so just you know this is this is my new method of painting all the stuff you know you just get your colors out there you kind of drag them into the middle mix them blend them a little you, you can get a thousand colors from four. <laughs> I love the way this feels. It's, it's just nice so different because I'm so used to having um, not a built-in sealer, but it's all nice and smooth. It is a little bit streaky, but if you did a second coat, you'd have full coverage and no brush strokes. I wish I could show people, but it lays down so flat. Okay. Um, I need another color on this. I want to wet distress, but I think so about I'm pretty much dry brushing this. And I'll come back in a minute with a damp rag. Where's and the... where's the little paintbrush? Kind of maybe? pull these all in so that they're not. Um, did you have it over there? Did you already? Oh, use yeah, I already it? used it. We need to go grab some. We restocked the turquoise Irish at Irish. Iris paint brushes on the website and we need to go get some. This is like an old, I think this is the, I don't even remember what this one's called of hers. It's so bad, badly used. All right, Zeb, you want to zoom out there? Yeah, I was just showing them. You did good. So I'm just going to use, this is the new Cottage Colors white. It's a very bright white. I have no idea where I'm going with this, but I'm going to just keep putting coats and layers of this on and then we'll we'll play with uh, this design a little bit inside. I think I'm going to go white. Is that mold done? And we make it look that. oxidized. It is not quite. Okay. But we haven't even been on half an hour yet, so. Well, I'm kind of waiting to go crazy till I have that on. But I think with that since you use that, that'll stick to that just fine. Yeah, it's like this... the DIY paint is very porous before you seal it, so sometimes it doesn't always stick well when you have a fresh mold if it hasn't cured. Well, because it's powdery. Yeah. But because this has a sheen, the mold should stick to it just fine. What Klingon brush for blending? Uh, so this is F30. the F30. Any um, of them are fine. They're all pretty. They got about a two-inch uh, bristle on there. So they all hold quite a bit of paint and water, whatever you're doing with it. And they do pretty good. There's the bigger one that's almost more of like a round um bristle this is this is kind of ovally um that works really well i don't know the number i would off call the that top. a rectangle it's it's oval 
you will, if, if it's not, I've got it in a blade right now because I've got a bunch of paint loaded up on it. Okay, this is a really bright white. We will eventually come out with a cream, but because I wanted to create a white that was very different from the whites that DIY had, and so I said, make it as bright as you can. A nice bright white. I'm gonna go with a little more mint under here because when I distress this back, I want it to look like it's, you know, had some lighter colors and tones on this detail here. So if you wanted to seal this paint before you put a transfer or before you put a mold on it, you could use, um, just use Big Top. But really what we do, if we're gonna use the DIY paint, like the traditional formula, is we just don't paint on our piece first. We glue the mold on, let that dry, and then we just paint over the top. All right, I know you guys are watching, you're like, Zeb, what are you doing? It's looking like a hot mess. It'll come, it'll come around. We'll we'll bring it full circle. Don't worry. I've got I got another 30 minutes. We can get this thing going. Oh, there it goes. Susan said that she saw us um at the Hope of America concert. She was sitting behind us. She's got oh, grandkids fun. that are friends with our kids. That's fun. Yeah, the Hope of America concert was so fun to watch. I, I love it. You know, it's very patriotic and it was good. It was like a breath of fresh air to not have to, you know, to be there and not, you know, we're, we're saying the Pledge of Allegiance. There was a prayer before it. And I know that's not for everyone. You know, you've, you got, you, that's the beauty of this country. You got your right to choose how you worship and do what you want, right? It was just really nice to be there and see the kids taking part in that and, and doing all those things and singing songs about the, uh, the, the founding fathers Bill and the, can, the Constitution, Bill of Rights, you know, all that good was, stuff. I did think it was funny. Our very uncoordinated white son was chosen to do the, because they did dances from all different cultures <laughs> uh, around the world. And he did a Mexican dance, which it just brought back memories because I grew up next to the border. And so I did, I, I probably won't be able to say it right, folklorico dancing with the big skirts. And you do the, because that, when we did school performances every year, that's what we did. I wish I would have saved the skirts. <laughs> so it's fun to watch him do his little, his little Mexican dance there. He was cute with his partner. Can you post a link for the pre-orders? I think Caitlin did, but if, when she gets a chance, I'll have her do another link for the pre-orders. So yeah, they said that this pot is usually used for a hose, but it does have a plug, so we're gonna plant in it. When is this gonna get white? In a minute. I think I've got enough tone variation that when I blend, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. But I do want to dry it off because okay. sometimes when you wet distress, if it's not dry beforehand, you just get mud. And I'm just sitting here waiting because I'm going to put an uh, applique on this that we just made. We just made the mold Q and A it. time. If you got burning questions, now's the time. And mine this will won't be, take long though, because mine was all it was all dry brushed. And then after we make the mold, then we got to pour the resin in it. Then we got to glue so it. So I on. wasn't going to do resin since that's rounded. I was just going to do air you dry do clay. clay? Yeah. Okay, that'll be good. Yes. So we don't have to wait for it to dry. Yep. Can you go find me some clay though? Do we have enough. I guess um, it's not super deep. Yeah, it's not very deep. The white's coming. Let's bring this thing full circle. But the problem, Zeb, is if we do clay, I won't really be able to work with it finish-wise because you can't push on I it. I can pour resin in it. You can... Yeah, I want resin. Uh, we'll have to hot glue gun it. Okay. So get the hot glue gun heated up, and then um, I have the resin out, so I, I can pour it. Okay. Do you want me to get the wood glue too, sweetie, or super glue? Um, no, because those. You think no, that... we're good. Just the hot glue will be fine. All right. I just hot glued those ones out there. I, well, I like to use wood glue and hot glue, like hot glue yeah, around the edge of wood combo. glue. In the well, the wood glue is right there if you need it. I got yeah. it in the window. So. Thing is so heavy. <laughs> yeah, the new pre-order colors are estimated to ship no later than the end of May, probably sooner. But um, we like to under-promise and over-deliver, and we're still waiting on the date from the warehouse saying yes, they've shipped it to all the retailers. Then Debbie will give an official launch date. Um, Lisa, we don't have any stencil sales planned. The next one will probably not be until Black Friday. 
we don't they don't usually go on sale a ton uh kathy i still am debating on whether or not i actually should have got two dogs i love them to death but they also are filthy today with all the mud my couches my bed they you know whatever it's a good thing they're cute and snuggly if you guys aren't know what we're talking about i said i never wanted dogs because i would only want outdoor animals <laughs> and i would never leave a dog outside in the winter here in utah and uh now I have two black dogs that are indoor dogs very much so. Luckily they don't shed and unless it's really goopy outside like wet, they don't get too dirty. But we've had really wet weather the last month. Well, it hasn't like we haven't gotten any downpours really, maybe one or two. It's not been enough rain to help our drought situation. It's been enough rain to be muddy. Okay, so all these colors are now going to be friends. Okay, so the rule with polyurethane and wax, we get this question a lot. Wax should always be last. Does it mean that we have never painted over wax? No, we do it all the time. We break the rules. But wax is typically a resist. And we makes... don't want you to have break the rules and have a bad experience. Yeah. <laughs> so typically wax is a resist. So if you put wax down and you put paint or polyurethane over it, it's going to pull up. And there are times that it will not adhere. So technically wax should always be last. But... Like I said, we have really buffed it in on a few pieces and then painted right over it. So what I'm doing now, I've got like blue, mint, bohemian blue, terracotta coming through, the yellow with the salt wash. And I'm, I'm not necessarily blending them. It is going to muddy the waters a little bit because this bohemian blue is so pigmented. But I'm, I'm just, I don't want it to look like a, a slap of paint, like a splotch. So I'm just blending it in and see them kind of running together there. They said we should have an outdoor shower. We can actually just throw them in the uh, pool once it warms up. Uh, but it's a little cold for an outdoor shower. It's 41 out there right now. <laughs> We're, we might get snow on Tuesday of next week. It won't stick, but... Uh, Pam, we're located in Lehigh, Utah. So if you're coming through Utah and you want to go to the shop, it's at 1245 West Main Street. Um, it's just off the main drag of Lehigh. And then the new shop is at, was 1150? Um, 1190. 1190. North 500 West. North 500 West. It has two addresses, so I get them confused. Yeah, well, one is the cottage. But anyways, those are both the addresses. Um, and we're in Lehigh, which is about 30 minutes from Utah and 30 minutes from Utah. 30 minutes from Salt Lake, 30 minutes from Provo. Yeah, if you've already waxed a piece, we had a question about this, just use mineral spirits to remove it or buff it as good as you can and you can sand it off if you don't have access to mineral spirits. I think they're not legal in some states. California doesn't like California, them. I think, but I'm not positive. All right. Okay, so that's where we're at before the white. Um, if you guys are channel members or if on, you're on Facebook and then JRV subscriber group, um, we are going to be live next Tuesday at 1, 1.30? No, yes, 1.30 because this be is coaching morning. will be at 10. Oh, yeah, that's right. So 1.30 next Tuesday, we will be live for the JRV subscribers and the channel members on YouTube. Um, and... We're probably going to do another two-part video, probably furniture, because we have a few pieces being shipped out and we need more furniture for the shop. So we'll do some fun new paint techniques. I need about six more brushes. Um, we have, I know somebody that sells brushes. Do you know? Do ya? I do. Can I see if this is done? Yeah, you can probably pull that up now and we can start getting the resin made up for it. Oh, yeah. So I'm just pulling this off. It's still a little damp inside. Because it's humid today. Should I heat gun it or will that melt it? Mm, I'm going to handle up to 300 degrees, but I don't know if that's going to help the curing process. So, oh, you don't have the screen now. Here you guys go. This is the mold that we made. So you can see all the sheep and the cute little girl. And this is what we're going to remake. This is, can you pass me that? And the cool thing is it didn't hurt or harm our original piece here. If it has chippy paint, sometimes it'll pull that off. Here's the original piece with the little black sheep, which I think is darling. And then here is our mold. Oh, you know what, Zeb? You didn't quite. It'll be okay. Okay. 
It might drip over the edge. It tore when I pulled it off the oh, okay. the um, drop cloth. And we will hopefully in the next, I don't know, three to 10 weeks, <laughs> get these on the website. Because we're going to make um, release of them. Is that what's called? Molds. I always say the wrong words. Castings. Castings. Beats me. I'm going to use my hair dryer on cold and see if I can dry out this inside. It's a little wet. Oh, there goes the heat gun. What did I just knock over? All right. So right here, I'm getting down in these holes with the white because they were just, they were terracotta. And then we'll do some more fun layering with the holes and make them look old. But we needed a white base to do that on these. That blow dryer is loud. What? The blow dryer is louder than the heat gun. Yeah. The blow dryer is loud. Sorry, guys. I don't think you need it. It's not going to, I don't think it changes things. So a like lot of people often wonder, like, why did you put all those layers on just to cover them up? It's because we're going to bring them back. White boy. All right. I will do that if you will pour this for me because you're much better than I am. Okay. I'm just want to just do it right up there where the camera, where you can dip the camera down? Yep. Okay. All right. I'm going lots of white on this detail so I can work with it and then kind of dry brush on the rest. You can do the same technique that we're doing on both of these pots on plastic pots. That is the glorious thing about the paint that we sell. It adheres to all different kinds of things. So don't feel like you can't do this just because you don't have terracotta. Because I know terracotta can be spendy. So are we doing full coverage or just kind of um, full, full coverage co in the holes? Full coverage around the holes, yep. Yeah. Okay. I'll try to copy what you did while you explain how to make a mold, uh, applique or whatever, a relief? Is that what it's called? It could be called an applique. I might have to go get some tape because I need to repair my mold. If you get something like this where it's like a little thin over on one side, you can always just add more mold putty and I'll do that once we're... Once we're not live anymore. Not live. Do you want me to get you some painter's tape? Yeah, that might work. All right. Um, where did you put that painter's tape yesterday? Oh, it's over in the drawer over on the right, okay. I believe. Okay, I'm going to pour more than I need just because this is the first time. I'm not sure how much it'll take. Probably won't actually take much. There you go. There's so the I keep my caps together. If you start mixing up models and caps, they really stick on because the resin activates. Yeah, the reason why Zeb really does these is because it's with resin, you got to be more exact. I got clay down, but I'm not exact, so... Seb is much better at this than me. Pour the two sides together. The kit comes with a couple of uh, popsicle sticks slash stirrers. I'm using white swan. I don't know if Seb told you the white color he was using. So this oh, is yeah. DIY paint. You want me to just kind of dry brush all over? Is that what we're doing? Yeah. And then we're going to... Then I'll, br I'll bring that back and maybe even do some more color over the top. Okay. Some drippies, some green drippies. Mm -hmm. We love ourselves some drippies here. All right. The nice thing about these types of paint finishes, if you have a, this is perfect for Waste Not Wednesday because if you have a little bit of this and a little of that, it doesn't take much to do a pot like this. So you can really use up all your odds and end paints and then make a fun layered paint finish. So and you can also water it down for drips. This is the lip I'm talking about. It doesn't have much of an edge. So I'm just gonna, well, we'll see. That doesn't, it's silicone, so it's not really sticking. We're gonna go with it. I'll have to, I'll have to repair that later. <laughs> I have magic tape. Oh, you know what might work is actually just popping some paper clay up there. Maybe. No, will the resin stick to the paper clay? Nah, I'm just gonna go with it. We'll see what happens. Oh, 
what we'll do, Deb, is every time we make something and we use resin, we'll just pour a few extra of those and we have like 20 of them made, then we can put them up on the website. Because the like I mixed up the perfect amount. Like a boss. It's not even going to roll over that little lip there. The likelihood uh, of us sitting down and just making 20 of those is slim to none. So we've yes. got to do it over time. The hydro, is it hydrostatic tension? Oh, nope, it's running out. You need a, something to make a little lip. There we go. We're going to curve it anyway, so that's fine. I'm just heat gunning this pot if you hear it going, so that way Zeb can get to the next step. You don't have to heat gun to get these looks, guys. We're just doing it because we're on live TV. All right, that's poured. We'll come back to that in a minute. All right, this back side is dry. If you want to flip around this and start working on the front side, then I will dry the front for you. Sure. Okay. Do you have that little brush out still? Yeah, I'm going to put the lid on the salt wash because I actually already blew some a minute ago. <laughs> there we go. And I'm going to move this because I don't want to drag the brush or the cord across it. I'm, if I'm missing your comments or questions. I will be back to do that. Um, if you guys are on Facebook, if you can hit that share button and share this video out, it's a huge help to us. Or if you're on YouTube, you can hit copy and share it to Facebook later. And also thumbs up, commenting, subscribing, all of those things. Tell YouTube and Facebook that, hey, we like these people. And then they show you more of us. I guess if you don't like us, don't do those things. glass here okay that's dry i'm just hitting the bottom ones i might get a little swirly a little i'm gonna move my pot top. over here for a minute thank you for the thumbs ups it's blurry um it's because it's trying to focus can you fix that oh yeah there we go there we go thank you Sometimes we have really great quality because we use an expensive um, camera to do these lives with. And then sometimes it tries to think it's smarter than us. When it's overcast, it usually struggles. It's like, I don't know what the time of day is supposed to be right now. If you watch yesterday's video, all of those projects, except for the table that I did the brocant transfer on, are sold. So if you want something from yesterday's video, the brocant table is still available on the website. I'm hoping the lady who bought the orb doesn't mind my repair. We sent her a picture because <laughs> it was not broken when we pictured it the first time. And what Zeb didn't put it in the video, but I pulled the brocant table off the island because I was going to take it outside and sand it. And the orb started rolling. And it was like one of those slow motion things. And the orbs rolling and rolling. And I crack. And I knew. And my first instinct was just throw it away, right? But it already sold. So I had to start thinking, okay, how can we repair this? And we Spray, spray foam in it, but we actually wound up off camera shoving it full of paper towels because the spray foam was taking forever to dry. And then we just spray foamed over like where the actual hole was and that worked really well. And now that it's painted, you can't even, can't even tell that we had to repair it. If you seal it really well, can you put clay molds on pots outside? Yes. Um, I we did it on tin cans. Did it on tin cans and I actually sealed them with wax and put it on a covered porch and it went through the winter and um, survived two winters and I sold them like two years later because we didn't use them anymore. So yeah, just know that if you're in an area that's super, super humid. Or extreme winters. Or extreme, extreme winters or it's not covered that wax doesn't typically last outside. All right, we're about to bring this home here. So we're moving into the shop, hopefully, um, in June. Zepp and I have a hiking, backpacking, they call it trek, where you are like pioneers across the plains. We're going to go push handcarts with a bunch of youth yeah, from we're, church. We're going to actually <laughs> film them and ask them questions. That's what our job is. But anyway, like, that's the end we're of We're the June. historians. We're historians. So our job, we're hoping to get started moving the beginning of June. So that way, by the end of June, we're good, and we can move the shop in July um, and then grand opening sometime in September because we want to open the shop and work on some more projects before we do our grand opening. Oh, that looks good. Can you give me some more white up here though? This Yes. Where's the white brush? There's some contrast going there. 
want it to be a little wider so that when I get the drips going. Where's the white paint to be? Um, I may have put a lid on it and put it back away. I don't know. It was over there with you. Well, it's right there in front of you. Oh, and it's over here by me. <laughs> okay. We're a mess. Does anybody craft in their clean? I, Let me know in the comments because we are never clean. I really um, Zeb get likes going to. with the blending and the, the spray bottles and the dripping. It's what Zeb. you got to do if you want these, if you want your finish to look like it's been out in the rain, you got you to gotta make it rain. You got to make it rain paint, DIY paint. Sometimes milk paint and now cottage colors. <laughs> All right. I'm sure after, like we've been talking about how it's like a single step paint. I'm sure give us like a month or two and we'll have all kinds of ways to blend it and do fun stuff with it. And we'll show you guys. That's weird. They, some of the texts are just coming through and some people aren't getting them. Trey, if you guys are just tuning in, make sure to watch the replay. I'm sorry about that. We'll have to find out what's going on with our tech service. Um, Lolita Bonita says she's going to need a mold of the girl sheep. I have a child rocking chair that will be perfect for that mold. All right, so once we get them up on the website, we'll let you guys know. Like I said, it's going to take us a few weeks. We're in the process of, today we've got to finish um, designing the patriotic decoupage paper so we can get that up for our retailers to buy. Um, that one's time sensitive because July 4th is coming sooner than we know it. And then we are working on just testing out all the new stencils that are going to be released Friday. Um, for retail and then they'll be released today for our wholesale buyers like our retailers that carry them So we've got a few th other things to do, but we'll try to like slowly get these poured as we gotta we... do some stairs at the church Yeah, I gotta build you know. stairs at the church. I gotta make oh, I gotta make the the hard dish soap We gotta make the labels that go on the bottom so we can ship those out But we will slowly get these poured and once I get enough that I can do a launch We'll put them up on the website and let you know all right, so I, my rag is pretty saturated with pigments and things. My white is kind of going away, but I'm gonna we're gonna do. So yesterday I did a green. Thanks, um, Caitlin. Wash. She's emailing the company to find out why they're delayed. Caitlin's my my right our right hand gal. Also, Caitlin, she's she's like a dog with a bone. She gets a real bad eye twitch when stuff doesn't work how it's supposed to, and she goes until it's fixed. It's because she's <laughs> super good at everything she does, and she's like, listen, Linda. Linda, listen. She's like, you affected my day. <laughs> if you don't know what Listen Linda is, just look up little boy Listen Linda video and you're welcome. It's cute. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to do my wash. And we're going to... What wash color are we doing? I'm trying to go darker. Oh. And then I'm going to do white over that. Okay. Kind of like I did getting real involved here. So this is going to be like a greenish, mossy slash brown, rusty color. I'm glad we had this one to work on because mine is probably not getting finished today. The mold, if you're wondering, is drying over here. It's almost ready to go. We'll demold that casting. All right. So got got my brush fairly loaded up with this grayish, purpley color. Three quarters of a cup on this red plastic cup here. Barbara says she loves the Listen Linda videos and often uses that phrase. I had um, a friend of mine named Linda, and so I always think of Linda Miller. All right, so this is this is going to be my wash. I'm I'm basically washing my brush too. Okay, I think I want it to be a little darker. Really? It's kind of white. Oh yeah, it's looking. Like you know what? I'll go with this, and if I need it darker, I'll add more dark where All I right, need it. All right, just go on the side in an inconspicuous place and see what you... It's like a beige. It's grayish. Oh, I like it. Uh -huh. I'm just squeezing it out. Reasons why doing this in a studio would be good. Well, this, this drop cloth that we have has a plastic backer on it. So I'm starting at the top here. I'm just letting it run where it will. What I liked on the other piece that we did was the green drippies too. Do you need a washcloth to blot this at all? Um, so this, I might need to add more paint to this. Yeah, it's pretty thin. Yes, Jed and Kate, you can use cottage colors on cabinets. I would suggest probably, even though it has a built-in sealer, if it's like your kitchen that's super high use, 
I'd probably still go with a couple extra coats of Big Top or Sweet Pickens Top Coat just for durability's sake. But if it's a bathroom or somewhere that's not getting a ton of use, um, you'd probably be fine to just use the cottage colors. We're going to test it out um, and let you guys know. So we'll probably wind up using it in our kitchen and we'll put some extra sealer on it. And then maybe we'll use it in the bathroom at the church that we're renovating and not put any sealer on it and see how it holds up. All right. You can kind of see it. Yeah, it's it's, it's darker. It's got it's got a Jamie's, little bit. Of Jamie's Jamie's face says it all. She's like, "It's brown." <laughs> it's not brown. It's grayish. I like it, but I think it needs some green. And yeah, I'm gonna do a green wash now. I'm gonna dump this water. Leslie says I set my phone alarm. YouTube never notifies her. Yeah, we're pretty good. I mean, we don't miss and we're not late very often. So Except just... for yesterday with business coaching. That's another story. But 10 a.m., we've been doing this often enough. 10 a.m. on Wednesday mornings, Mountain Time, you're going to find us here. Saturday nights, 8.30 Mountain Time, you're going to find us live doing our thrift hauls. We have missed very few. And when we have missed them, we've notified people like well in advance, hey, it's not going to happen. We've got something coming up, or one time it was Christmas. <laughs> I'm going to go a little less water on this. I've got some some uh, cake batter in there and then some salty kiss because I want it to be a little more brighter yellow or green. Um, Barbara, the, the drop cloth with the plastic backing, we bought ours at Home Depot, but you could probably find them online or check your local hardware store. Just ask them for the poly-backed drop cloth. That's what I believe the official name is. All right, so this wash is thicker. I only went about half a cup on here and added a little more paint. Oh, that looks good. Is it looking good on camera? Me likey. And then I will come back after this. Maybe, do, do we have the old school out? Can you, oh, here it is. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this dry. Can you dry this side once yeah. I go around? So we can show them a finished yeah. look here. And then I'm watching, I'm keeping an eye on that mold over there so that Jamie can finish her project too. I'm just really in love with your project. So the green, like so good. I can't even tell green you how, was the magic, how excited uh, that green makes me. The green was the magic uh, in, instrument yesterday. It was the color that did it. You don't have to drip like I'm doing. You can brush your wash on and it'll sit down in there and all the good cracks. But we like to drip it on pots because when rain hits and causes like things to run or mold or whatever, a lot of times it is drippy. Let's see if I can get closer. It's, the camera's picking it up super bright. If I zoom in, it's probably going to dim it a little bit. There you go. Now you can start to see what I've been working on. We can't really do text for our business coaching or we'd have to charge more because you would be surprised, but the text messaging service is like pretty expensive. uber spendy. We're looking at some le less expensive. I was going to say least less expensive options for business coaching and um, also for our retailers, but we just haven't yet. Where'd your pot even go? Oh, it's on the back over there. Like to put it in perspective, what we pay for our text messaging service um, would, is the exact amount that we make on business coaching every month. So it wouldn't be cost effective. All right. So this is the cottage colors. Jamie's got the new mint here. What's, I don't know the name of the new colors yet. This is one coat. Her brush was a little wet when she put this on. We and are not going to use this as top. a hose holder, somebody asked. No, we're going to just plant in it. We're going to use it as a pot. We'll just plant around the side where it's deeper. Maybe something that grows over the edge of it. Okay, I need I need some old school. Um, right did I here. get old school? Are you going to use that to bring I'm gonna, out the detail? I'm going to hit some of the dark sun or the holes on there, and then we've got some lines as well, some line detail. Chime in though. Now's your time to weigh in. It's a live stream. Are you how are you they liking us, it? They want to see us do a lightsaber battle. A lightsaber battle. Um, maybe if we can get two I don't lightsabers have, put together of the kids. We have the nice ones from Disneyland. I don't have the lightsabers like assembled. They're all over 
<laughs> yeah, the kids the have boys all disassembled The lightsabers them. are all over the place. They use theirs. <laughs> but that would make a hilarious reel or short video. But Zeb would win, but he doesn't want to hurt me, so I don't know if he'd win. Do you want to blot this? Because it's like pooling up and I'm having a hard time getting it out of it. Yeah, you can. That's the side we're going to show. I'm going to go put some old school on the front of this. It's not dry. Oh, yeah, you're right. Do you want to use this That's side? It's probably dry enough. It doesn't have to be crazy. Yeah, why don't you swap that around? I just don't want to lose my drips. Yeah, no, this side's good. A strawberry pot. Actually, that's what I was thinking. Um, we, have we don't have any strawberries quite ready to go in a pot, but we do have some started. In We have a, like 700 and something plant starts. I don't know if they're all going to survive. We don't really have a green thumb. They'll, they'll survive fine. Can't get that to focus. This is old school. It's like a nice dark gray. So the thing that the salt wash did for this is it added extra texture and you could come back with sandpaper and we might do that and hit it to pull back those original colors or you can use a scraper and scrape it off like I did on the video from last week from our urns. Here's that if you need it. I've got this side dry. I find that I must water my terracotta potted plants more than the plastic pots. We'll probably wind up using a drip system when we get it all set up. Sweet okay. peas, sweet peas would grow. Let me see. Oh, that looks good. I All right, now we camera. need. What do you need? White, white wash. White wash. So you're gonna do white drips over the gray. Yeah. So many layers. But it's really like almost no paint. Like well, a white wash paint. is like nothing. I have to go around the front because I want to see it. Oh, I like it. Me like it. So we'll just put the hole in the back and we'll plug it. So this is how much paint I'm gonna use. I just dipped the brush here in my wash going half again on this one and it does have it wasn't completely washed out what's the name of the light purple used yesterday if you watch yesterday's video or today if it's on facebook we used french millinery and we just had a comment let's see if i missed it uh laura just put her craft kit together for the rocking horse nice um and it's the first time using our products and she loves the paint looking forward to your pre-ordered colors. That's awesome. I'm glad you did that. Those rocking horses were so much fun. We may have a few extra kits, so watch, watch for that. Um, we'll, as soon as we know that everybody got theirs and they arrived alive, then we'll sell off what's left. Um, we always make extras because it's always, when we get the craft kits and we do them, we're like in craft kit mode. But if we have to come back and make one or two craft kits because something got damaged, it's really hard to get motivated to do that. So we always do extras and then we sell off what's left over. I'm going to let that dry and give you a close up zoom so you can see how it's coming. How do you guys feel about a tote in the next craft kit? It would require um, probably some hammering and nailing. So we would provide some nails and you'd have to use a little hammer. I just don't know if that's too involved for some people, if they would be upset that they had to use a hammer and a nail. It is a kit, a craft kit. Here comes the mold. So it's a little thin. You can see oh, where yeah. I need to repair it so that I can pour that deep enough. But, but once it's work. painted, it's not going to matter. Look how look how much detail we picked up on that. It got all of the detail. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And all that right. came from this little plaque here. And Love it's the still, I just demolded it. So it's it's flexible. It's a little less bendy where the sheep is thicker. That's All right, well, the let's glue this part. before. We are over time. But <laughs> we are over glue. time. 
And I don't want it. To, uh, well, if it happens to dry all the way and it's not, it flexible, gets less flexible. <laughs> you can microwave it like 10, 15 seconds at a time. Just and know that it. even if you microwave it, sometimes it still does get it. It's, it's not ever going to be as flexible as it is right now. Yes. So I've got wood glue in the middle, hot glue to hold the wood because the wood glue is going to take like a while to dry. It's the combo glue. We need to go get more construction adhesive. All right, tell me when that's centered. Although I don't, after yesterday's situation. My centering. Your centering skills are. Here, let me just hold this. You have hot glue on here, right? Yes, hot glue around the edge. To hold it? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll just keep my whole hand. My whole hand covers it. No, if we're over time, it doesn't kick us off, but we schedule our day pretty stacked. And uh, like Caitlin, I mean, we is could on technically be days. on here all yeah. day, every day, if you know the live stream. What happens is after about an hour, we get a lot of trolls, though. Yeah, like a lot of people like is that spamming links to unsavory websites. We'll say that. All right, I'm going to paint that real okay, quick. I think though. you got it on here good enough. The wood glue will dry and really lock that down, but the hot glue will keep it in place for now. Because you really want the hot, you really want the edges on curved pieces to be held down. So the hot glue just kind of sucks that in. Look how cool this terracotta pot is getting. Monica, if you missed how we made this mold, just uh, when we're done, you can watch that replay, and it's it's fun. It's like a really easy process to make molds. The directions are on the box too, if you. This is what the box looks like. If you order like. and you forget, it's all right. It's on jamierayvintage.com. You okay. know, go get some and some resin. I want the white paint, I think. Yeah. This, this white paint or? Yes, I need a brush. Do you have brushes not been adulterated? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> all right. I'm going to paint this and we'll heat gun it and then we'll do some like glazing effects on here. We got, we got a few minutes. It's 1110. Kaylin, if you have to go, let me know. I can always... Um, monitor comments for a minute. I was thinking about using the gray over the top, watering that this? down. Yeah, but I got to paint it white first. I got to get the paint on here. All right. You might want to move your pot out of the way because when I'm in a hurry. That's okay. You can't, you can't add any colors on here that aren't on here. By the time that I mix true. this whole palette up, I mean, I pretty much got the whole rainbow. Just know I will paint the back of this pot, but for time purposes, I'm just working on the front right now because I got to put this on here and heat gun it. I'm going to think I'm going to put my gray in here. So I've been working on this kind of aged look drippy technique. It's not necessarily a blended finish because I dried the colors beforehand, but um, it's like a nice layered look and then run the, the water running on it is what really kind of lends to it's been outside. Oh, I, I'm, I, and I think I'm hoping that I've made it easy enough that like anyone can try it out and be like, oh yeah, that worked for me. Just try it on a 75 cent pot with leftover paint and then it doesn't turn out no harm, no foul, right? Right. I'm well, just doing, I'm just working back here. Same thing I did on this front side with the, the old school in the the bottom parts and the cracks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, oh, you know what I should have done? I should have done the new white paint on here. That's what I thought you were going to do. Yeah. Well, I want to wet distress this back, but the mold should have gotten the new white paint. Where's the new white paint? Where'd it go? I don't know. It'll be okay. Oh, can I have the new white paint? I don't, oh, is it right here? This is the pink. pink. It's right there under your elbow. Can you get me a little brush? Yeah. Don't heat on your finger. Not the best option. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit over this mold with the new white paint. I don't know why I didn't think about it, but... I'm going to wet this dress around here to bring back to the mint paint. But on this, I want it to be white. I guess I could paint it with mint if I wanted to, too. But let's see. Okay. I got a plan. Don't you worry about it. 
Because I needed to have a built-in I'm never sealer. worried. You're never worried? No. You, sh you should occasionally worry. No, I don't. I don't. Okay, so we're going to heat. We're gonna, this has a built-in sealer, so this will stick on there really good. So I'm using the new Cottage Colors White on this part here. And I'm going to heat gun around the edges. I need a clean, damp cloth. Oh, I like that. Now I need you to be my assistant. I okay. need a clean, damp cloth, drippy Mickey. How different is the new paint compared to DIY? Completely. Um, it's completely different. So it's self-leveling, has a built-in sealer. Um, it's not as thick. And um, you can't wet distress it, which you'll see what I'm doing here in a minute. But like this base coat was painted with the new mint. And so when I wet distress this white underneath around the edge, the mint is not going to come off. It'll stay behind. So it's really good for base coating. Oh, he's gone upstairs. I could just use a paper towel, sweetie. All right, I've got this dry. Oops, not dry there. So the white that's around the edges is the DIY, so I can wet distress that. I feel like I need to, I've done this with lots of greens and blues. And now I need to do like a red and purple and like, situation like, like that. Like a rainbow? Mm -hmm. A rainbow situation? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to bring them in and focus them so they can see your wet distress. Okay, so I'm, I'm wet distressing around the edge. This top was painted with the new paint, so that's not going to be able to be wet distressed. But this bottom part, I can pull back to the mint. And I feel like you can't really see this applique very well yet, but it's going to come back to me. All right, now I need to rinse out my brush and I'm going to come through with the new gray and I'm gonna use it like a glaze. Watch me. If you guys have ever seen my windshield wiper post with the lady doing her makeup, she's like, watch me, I'm gonna swipe it. It's gonna be amazing. You're gonna to have to watch me. Hopefully it is amazing. I can't guarantee it. Do you okay. need more zoom? Okay. So we're going to come. We have more zoom. Don't move it. <laughs> Got some of my hair on here. I'm going to come through with the gray. Now, here's the thing about the new cottage colors, right? They have a built-in sealer. So you cannot let it dry or you're not going to be able to wipe it back. So I'm going, look at that. I'm just using it like a glaze over the top. And it's bringing back all that detail. Don't be too crazy hard with it. You don't want to pull it out. But while it's still wet, you can get it to give you an aged effect. And this is basically it for this because it has a built-in sealer. Because it's going outside, I might do one little thin coat of sealer on it. But I, mean, I got to look at it. Sorry, guys. You got to work fast. If you get too much gray where you don't want it, come back with um, the dry, like a dry white, and then you can dry brush the white over the top. But because this has a built-in sealer, it doesn't get all muddy looking. Let's see. I wanna be able to see that face better. Looks good from over here. Okay, I'm just. You got some streakies, but I assume you'll fi fix that once uh, once you repaint the. So my rag is damp, guys. Sorry to interrupt, but my rag's right damp. Here. That helps with it. Okay, now I can show them to him. I'm gonna keep working with it. Here, I want to tap it. Little tappy tap. But there you go. So mine's gonna be a minty gray white situation, and I'm gonna keep working on this. And then I'll, we'll put a clear coat of sealer, probably big top over both of these, or sweet pick and stop coat, and they'll be ready to plant outside. All right, now we got to clean up our mess. Like and, magic. And maybe um, lunch. If you want to buy the paints and products, Zeb used all of the DIY paints on this along with salt wash. And I used the cottage colors that are on pre order right now in white, um, which is white swan, vintage mint. 
And then um, we and also made our own. Or oh, what? You said the white was white swan. Oh, sorry, white linen. White linen, <laughs> vintage mint. And she I did, did use, use white, white swan, swan on, on this part to white back. So, and we'll let you guys know as soon as we get these up available for purchase, these molds, it's just going to be a few weeks before we do that. Anyways, if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to January Vintage for more. DIY. Thanks for tuning in on a Wednesday morning, guys. Yeah, we'll see you. Hopefully on... you're feeling inspired to paint all your pots. Yeah. And you know what's funny? You didn't even use any mint and yours totally matches mine. Who knew? Bye guys. Love you. Have a good day. That's how, that's how it works out.